you can kind of put anyone in jail if you know what to do. How? You set them up. Does the Bureau practice entrapment a lot? Yeah, we get really close. We call it a nudge. A nudge. A nudge. Mm. Sometimes you just gotta give them a quick look just to see what happens. Sometimes you like the fuse and just wait for it to follow. <clears throat> Nothing like putting out a fake social media thing to like really get people mad. Alex like, Jones. Yeah, so we were after him. You are? He did what we wanted. Which was what? He took his money away. Chopped his legs off. Gavin Oblenis is a contracting officer at the CIA. Oblenis worked for the FBI in 2021 and 2022 in the San Diego office, moved on to Homeland Security where he conducted asylum interviews at the southern border, and now works for the CIA managing multi-million dollar contracts across government agencies and private sector vendors. I work for, um, I work like this without, I'm not supposed to tell people kind of job. If I say intelligence, what do you think? CIA? Yep. Oh, you work for the CIA? I do. That's incredible. I'm a contracting officer. That's amazing. So I deal a lot with like different agencies. Uh, we're contracting with like uh, Director of National Intelligence to do stuff. We do Navy, Army, any of them really. I just, FBI. I used to work for the FBI, so really? they threw the FBI at me. They're like, here, you used to work there. Oh, I'm permanent. I'm so, yeah. yeah. Good. Well, why do they call it contracting? Because I do the contract. <coughs> I do all the legal contracts, <laughs> and I fly out to vendors and evaluate them. I love the agency. Good for you. I like the Bureau, too. The Bureau was a lot of fun. I got to do a lot of cool stuff with the Bureau. I was the guy in the back of the truck in the van. Oblenis spoke to an undercover sound investigations reporter about his work experience involving near entrapment and his employer's involvement with political commentator Alex Jones's legal battles. As long as the Bureau is able to progress far enough to be able to put pro-lifers in jail whenever they want. Yeah. You think that's on the agenda? We can, we can, you can kind of put anyone in jail if you know what to do. How? You set them up. <laughs> you create the situation to where they have no choice but to act on their impulse. And once they act on that impulse, then we call that entrapment. It's a fine line. Is, does the Bureau practice entrapment a lot? Yeah, we get really close. Not officially? No. We get but as close as we can. We get as close as we can to it without doing it. So they can entrap some of these pro-lifers into doing things that they Depending, don't... Depending, yeah. We call it a nudge. A nudge. A nudge. Mm. Sometimes you just gotta give them a quick look just to see what happens, right? And how does that happen? You put a post out there or you have someone fake profile say something that triggers that we know is going to trigger them, right? Like, we, we already know your history. If we're to that point, we already know everything about it. So we're like, oh, this will piss them off. Sometimes you like the fuse and just wait for it to follow, right? Like a railing. Mm -hmm. Like a, oh. So when a railing happens, that's sometimes that the bureau behind it? Yeah, sometimes. Nothing like putting out a fake social media thing to like really get people mad. Mm-hmm. Post fake news. Sometimes it's <laughs> me. It's not fake. It's embellished a little bit. Who would be like a big influencer that you're influencer that you're after? You like a I don't know, like um I don't even know these names, like a Fox News person or like oh. a Tucker Carlson or like uh, Oh I'm sure he's a right. You always want the biggest and loudest. Like that, what was his name? The one that said uh, the Sandy Hook didn't happen. Was Alex like, Jones. Yeah, so we were after him. You are? Before. Are you still after him? Yeah. Why? Because he's broke. He got found guilty and had to pay like $100 million. So what, why were you after him? We're not anymore. Just to get the money from him? Yeah. Was that court case used? Was that a CIA sure thing? was. That was an agency thing? Actually, it was a defamation case, so mm. it's a civil <clears throat> government. But we were looking at all of his followers, commenting, following, like, who's that going to be this to? right? So even though it's technically not our, well, not the agency, definitely, but the, the Bureau, for instance, yeah, it's not our purview, it's a civil, it's a civil matter. But since they got all this access to his stuff, and it's there, what can we go find. And did you find anything? I can't tell you. Oh, we did. Uh, but, so, you know, it's, it's just kind of like, you know, realize the opportunity that you have. So with Alex Jones, mm -hmm. you were watching him long before anything ended up happening? Probably. It wasn't my office, but, I mean, we would have we been well aware of what he was doing. And the goal with him was what? Just to bankrupt him? 
Uh, pretty much. And we let the families do it. And that, what? We let the families do it. Were they encouraged to do that by the bureau? Like nudged? We don't encourage people. But like, we, we just say there's no federal statute being broken. But you do have the option for a civil, for a civil case. And it's a pretty good case. Nice. In our opinion. So, oh, that makes so much sense. I have a cousin who's a lawyer, so that's a lot of these cases, they're, they're kind of encouraged by the FBI? Yeah, like, there's nothing federally, federal law we can do, but civilly, we can go at them that way and chop his legs off. And they did? Yeah. So the FBI was happy? We didn't care, we were like, oh. Basically, the citizens did your job? Yeah. Wow, so you can encourage a civil lawsuit? Not encourage. Educate. What can you do with people like Alex Jones now? Is he still out there? Yeah. He's still chirping. He can chirp. Are you still watching him? Yeah. Why? He did what we wanted. Which was what? We took his money away. Uh, we shut him up for a while. You're never going to shut him up for How? Well, unless you put him in prison. But again, he didn't do anything to go to prison. Being ignorant is not a crime, though it should <laughs> It is. I mean, what if you could bring a nudge? He, he didn't incite a riot, like Cheeto. He didn't encourage Cheeto. people to go shoot people. He didn't. So he didn't do it. Additionally, Oblenis states that he knows and works with FBI agents who were undercover in the January 6th Capitol riot, estimating about 20 field agents were there undercover. While Oblenis notes that they were not involved in violence, this appears to be the first admission of undercover FBI agents in attendance. I thought you said that there were FBI agents in the crowd at J6. There are. There always are when there's a big protest in D.C. Just in case it gets out of hand like that. But, they, but there, they wasn't, there wasn't enough to turn that tie. I mean, I'm talking they maybe have 20. You needed a thousand to get rid of that crowd. So they had like, tw oh, that was only just 20? Yeah, just to go through and observe and see what they can hear, you know, that kind of thing. Wow. That, yeah, definitely. They needed a thousand at least. Wow. Well, see, that's also Capitol Police jurisdiction. They're in charge. So that, Why yeah. they didn't have more on hand, I don't know. The Bureau didn't really want people knowing that they were in the crowd. Mm-hmm. Because that would be overstepping their bounds. A little bit. Do people know that? Do Why? Did people know that the Bureau was in the crowd? No, nope, and probably never will. Uh, you know agents that were there? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. They're the agency now. 